What is up, YouTube slash Reddit slash Twitter slash Discourse slash Matrix slash anywhere else that I'll post this video afterwards? Because not enough of you are smashing that like button. We're going to talk just a little bit more about Lua Auto Commands because some people had some questions and I figured, why don't I just answer them? So the first one that people have been asking me is, why doesn't this API automatically create this group when you're calling it here? And I think the main thing is that people are sort of not understanding what is the purpose of auto groups. And they sort of think, well, I just add an auto command to an auto group just like in a small block, which is true. Oftentimes what you'll do is you'll create some group here and then you'll pass in the group here and you'll run this and you can check buff enter and you'll see that we have this particular auto command made. Now, what can also happen is you could have if condition, let's just say a uh, local condition is true right now, right? If condition, then we're also gonna create a new one but instead of this, it's going to say conditional, right? And if we had this and we run this again, we check auto buff enter. You'll see it does add the conditional, right? But in this case, when we put false, it's not, whoops, it's not going to. And so the thing to consider is not every auto command added to a group will necessarily be created sort of like in a top down execution of a file. But beyond that, a top-down execution of a file is not like a logical block in Lua, right? You can't just be like, ah, I see this is the first time in I'm encountering this group within a file. That's not a concept. That would be very magical, right? So instead, what you need to do as the plugin developer or configuration person is you need to tell us when you would like to create the group and whether you would like to clear it or not because the behavior is very different, right? If what you wanted to do was every single time you run this file, you keep on adding these, you're gonna have this get registered many times. Now, in some cases, you actually do want to register a bunch of auto commands to the same auto group. That's totally fine. Imagine just doing this, right? And each of these do different things, whoops. Each of these do different things, right? Hello, one, two, three, four. And then we want to do, uh, we go to here and we say true again to clear it. Now we execute this file and you'll see that we've got these. That's perfectly reasonable to expect to register multiple auto commands to the same auto group. So we can't possibly know when, if you haven't defined this group here, what do you want us to do? Do you want us to create the group? Is it a bug in your code that you should have already created it and cleared it? Should we keep on just appending these auto commands indefinitely, right? Because if you don't have this clear at the beginning, so let's say we do this, we comment this line out, right? And we'll just delete the rest here. Every time we say group here and we say smash that like button, we run this, we're gonna keep on adding stuff to this so that would be the behavior if you were resourcing the file without having this group now this wouldn't actually work if i hadn't created this out group before but i hope that that's making sense right what i'm saying is if you don't tell us i would like to create this group and clear it or create this group and allow it to sort of continue to be reused we as neovim can't possibly tell what your expectation is to happen Right? There's no such thing as like, this is only an auto command from this file. So restart the file or something like that. That's not, that's not a thing. So hopefully that answers the question about auto groups and why you would still sort of want to use them, what the purpose of them would be.